Hey, this is Strix72. I just wanted to give you some uh, quick thoughts on the uh, the Taurus Model 94. So, um, I shot about 200 rounds uh, through it so far, and I uh, just wanted to give you my impressions. Uh, my footage is still in the uh, editing room, but uh, this is just going to be a vlog for now. So, my impressions are that this gun um, is not the best for beginning shooters. Um, again, the trigger is still uh, extremely heavy. Let's show that this is unloaded real quick. Okay. Again, I'm not sweeping anyone besides my uh, neighbor's pool. Um, um, so, it's not the guess for beginners. Again, I haven't cleaned this gun completely. Uh, again, this cylinder is having a little trouble going in. Uh, that's why it's not good for beginners. Um, plus, you need to make sure the cylinder is locked. It is now. Um, did I clean this gun at the range? While I was at the range, um, I think about four times just to make sure everything was functioning good. All I did was, uh, you know, clean off the uh, the forcing cone, and I wiped the front and rear of the cylinder. But um, pretty quickly, this gun, um, the uh, shells can be difficult to eject, and again, there's um, the the fit with the forcing cone is 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 very tight. Uh, so if it's dirty, um, it can stick up a little bit. Um, so again, there's one point where I was uh, about to fire again. I had the cylinder out. I closed it. Um, again, it didn't. It wasn't locked all the way. I was raising up and about to fire. I checked the cylinder, and it was both not all the way in, and um, it was not uh, locked. So that's why I feel this gun is. Uh, not the best for uh, beginning shooters um, again unless you can do a really close you know watchful eye I would uh, you know reserve this gun for a moderate amount of uh, shooting uh, experience um, again the, the double action is pretty heavy um, I lost my target on that but I was um, going to the right a little bit um, it could be because the grip is a little bit small for me and the trigger is heavy so I was probably uh, over fingering the gun a little bit okay so I know I'll probably get lewd comments about over fingering but I can handle it I'm a, I'm a big boy but um, um, in the single action it's uh, it's nothing special again it is hard to pull back um, uh, so single action is nothing special but it's okay so I have my uh, target here and carefully lower the hammer <coughs> this is my uh, single action target at uh, 10 yards so, um, it's okay, you know, I, I became a much better shooter over the past, um, excuse me, over the past, um, four months. So this is just so-so for me. Here's some shots at center mass, if you can see that. Again, I was actually having some misfires at this point. That's why there's so few shots. Um, I had about six uh, misfires at the end. Again, I was using a Remington bulk pack. Had some misfires there. I ran the mess. I ran the misfires through again, and uh, they still didn't go. Um, one person was mentioning that. Um, uh, you know, the hammer was, uh, perhaps designed, um, a little too weak. 
and that's why there is such a heavy uh, spring in here is because uh, maybe the hammer design was a little bit too weak and um, so they put a really heavy spring in here um, so I don't know if that's true or not but uh, again those are my thoughts again it's a good plinking gun if you want to use any type of 22 caliber you know if you want to use subsonic or primer only um, you know obviously you can't use 22 magnum but um, again I haven't seen you know 22 short since the 80s but again if you wanted to use that in this gun you could do that as well um, so again those are my thoughts um, again make sure someone has a little bit of experience before uh, handing over this gun to them and uh, if you guys have experience with this gun as well uh, please let me know and uh, put it in the comments below alright so thanks this is uh, Trick72 out